Hello everybody. So in this video I have just a quick way to do some port testing on a remote host if you don't have Telnet installed and if you can't install Telnet on that machine. So I've tested this with Windows Server 2012 and I'm currently on a Windows 10 machine so I'm assuming that means it'll also work on Server 2016. So uh, as you can see I've already typed out the script here and I'll have this in the description of this video so you can actually copy and save this whole thing you don't need to modify it or anything unless you want to um, so as you can see the script starts out by collecting some variable values for the server name and basically it's going to read the command prompt input and the same thing for the port it will then do a TCP connection test against those variables set and then if successful, we should see connection succeeded in green. And if it fails, we should get connection failed in red. So one thing that can happen here is uh, on certain systems, uh, the ability to run PowerShell commands might be disabled. So I'll just show that here. So I've opened an administrative PowerShell command prompt. And uh, if we try to run this script right here, so I guess first off, when you save it, just make sure you're saving it as .ps1. So it's a PowerShell script. So we'll do the, the script name. Can I actually change directories to where I've saved the script first? And then to, to run a PowerShell script, you can do period backslash script name. So as you can see, I have cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on this system. This was actually already enabled on my system. I just disabled them because I figured this might be an error some people will encounter. And uh, if you want to enable running scripts on the system, you can do set execution policy unrestricted. Now, there are... Uh, different ways you can set this up so I'm going to have a link to an MSDN article in here for what what this command does and what the options are for it. I'm doing this just because this is how it was set up already on my system. So now when you run the script we now have the option to enter a server name so I'm just going to put my work laptop and then the port being tested we'll do 3389 for RDP so you can see connection succeeded and now I will do one that won't respond and connection failed hope this video was helpful for you and thanks for watching